Hi, I'm Dr. Surinder. I'm the director of Cosmosis India. We are an aesthetic surgery clinic in the heart of Bangalore on Brigade Road. A common complication of lip augmentation is a deformed lip or if the augmentation is too much. Lip augmentation is done usually by either fillers which could be temporary or permanent or it could be fat or sometimes we do something called derma fat grafting. So all these are uh, procedures by which you enlarge a lip to give you a better shape and a better contour. But many a times when it's done by untrained people or because of any other underlying pathology which is there, the, the enlargement may not turn out the way that you want it to be. I personally always tend to use only temporary fillers for lip augmentation because temporary fillers, as I said, you can do something for it to get back to normal and within worst case scenario also in a few months the filler gets absorbed and your lips get back to how they were before. Permanent fillers, the problem is that it is a permanent thing that you're putting into the lip and you're putting it in between the tissues and it is not like a solid implant which can be removed out. So removing the permanent filler after any problems is a bit difficult and it is with more scarring. So that is why I always prefer to get a temporary filler for the lips. Fat can be done. If there is fat has been put and the lip is deformed, then again it is a difficult problem because the fat grafting that we do, we do it in multiple layers and in between the tissue layers. So it is quite difficult to extract it out. So what can be done? First, if there are temporary fillers, then they are basically hyaluronic acid based derivatives. So there are some injections which are called the hyaluronic based injections which we can give to dissolve that filler which is there. And as the tissue, as the filler dissolves, the, the shape and the size will come back to how it was before. Uh, worst case scenario, you leave it alone in a few days. It does come, in a few months, it will come back to how it was normal because the filler does get absorbed. Permanent fillers, as I mentioned before, difficult to remove. Depending on what kind of a filler was used, you can try and give a small nick and try and squeeze out as much filler as from those deformed areas as you can so that at least it gives you a more near normal look. Worst case scenario, you might even have to cut and remove if there is a infection in a permanent filler. As far as fat is concerned, again, removing all the fat from the lip is difficult without causing more injury to the lip. We have some fat dissolving injections which you can try out, but again, it is a prolonged process and it might not give you the optimum results. So when lip augmentation, ideal is still to use a temporary filler because you know how it's going to act. You have some things that you can reverse it with and of course it is self-limiting because it lasts for only a few months.